Hello friends, this is Sanjeev Kaushik and welcome to my channel Methodical Trades. In this video, I'm going to share with you one indicator which is extremely helpful in figuring out what exactly is the market doing with a particular security or asset in general, right? And the indicator that we're going to cover in this video is accumulation distribution. You see, as they say in the market, there are only two things that are truth in the markets. One is price and number two is volume. You can hide a lot of information about an asset, but what you cannot hide is its price and its volume. And accumulation distribution as an indicator is exactly what we are looking for when it comes to identifying truth for a particular stock. This indicator is going to be extremely helpful for investors in doing two things. One, when they want to exit from their existing long term holdings, this indicator is going to be extremely helpful for those. You will be able to exit when the markets have also lost interest in that particular asset and the markets are also under the surface selling this asset. You will also be able to sell alongside the markets. And number two, which is even more important, and that is you will be able to pick up the stocks when the smart people are picking it up. However, the dumb money is selling that stock, right? And all of this by just using one indicator, which is accumulation distribution. Before we talk about this particular indicator on charts, let me just show you how exactly it is calculated. So what we have here on our screen is the formula for calculating this particular indicator. And the output of this indicator is nothing but the volumes itself. So how it works is if an asset closes very close to the high of the day, then a portion of the volume will be added in this indicator's final value from the previous day. Or if the price of the asset closed very near to the low of the day, then a portion of the volume for that day will be deducted from the accumulation distribution data of the previous day. In simple terms, if the stock will keep going higher, with high volumes, then the accumulation distribution would also go on an upward direction. However, if the price is going down more often and also with very high volumes, then you should see the accumulation distribution also going downwards. This is a visual indicator. The exact numbers of the volumes which are shown on the indicator don't really matter much. We are only interested in the direction of accumulation distribution. Now let's take one example to make sure that we are clear on what this indicator shows us and how to interpret it. And the example that I'm going to take is for the world's biggest company that is Apple. It is best that we view both the price chart as well as the accumulation distribution in line. Most of the charts usually show accumulation distribution line as an overlay on the price itself. However, Trading view shows you this indicator in a separate pane and I would recommend that you keep it in a separate pane rather than overlaying it on the price line. On the right hand side here, you're looking at the volumes in billions for this particular stock, right? As I mentioned, it doesn't really matter much. We can totally ignore the numbers that are shown here. If a stock is not very liquid, then you might see a few thousand or a few hundred thousand number over here. What's more important for us to note is the direction of the accumulation distribution line, right? If a stock is on a constant uptrend, the accumulation distribution should also be on a constant uptrend. If we will see any divergence and we are going to talk a lot about divergence in this video, then this is the time to either exit from your existing holdings or enter into a stock that has been beaten down by the market. But the divergence is telling us a different story. Before we talk about divergence, let's just look at the Apple chart and based on accumulation distribution, we'll try to figure out what were the best times of holding this stock and is right now also a good time to own Apple as a stock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at one period, which is when Apple had surpassed its previous high back in October 2019. And let me just draw that particular line over here. So you see in 2018, the Apple stock was here. 
and we saw a cyclical bear market and as a result the apple stock pretty much underperformed for almost one year and it went back to its all-time high level in october 2019 right and from there onwards of course in march 2020 due to the pandemic led sell off we saw that apple retesting these levels however it kept going higher and as you can see the accumulation distribution line isn't even budging now next what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a vertical line for the point in time from where i am doing my back testing and this is starting in october 2019 now i want to draw on the accumulation distribution and narrow till the point i saw the higher levels of this indicator as you can see the accumulation distribution line kept on going higher and it kind of stagnated somewhere at these levels right now let me just draw another vertical line highlighting this particular level so all i'm interested in is the performance of apple during the time when its stock was also uptrending and the accumulation distribution line was also uptrending right and i'm going to draw another arrow like this so clearly the stock after crossing its previous all time highs in 2019 was on an uptrend for almost one year and during this period of time the return that it gave us was somewhere of this level from 58 to 133 the stock has more than doubled in just one year while the accumulation distribution line was also showing absolutely no divergence and the markets under the surface was accumulating this particular stock i hope it's clear now for the next phase of this back testing we are going to draw another arrow from the accumulation distribution point where we left our back testing to what the stock is doing right now on both the accumulation distribution indicator and also on the stock as you can see the stock went from 135 levels to 165 levels right so the current level would be this level 165 135 to 165 roughly an increase of only 20% since august september 2020 so if we see from october 19 to august september 2020 in one year the return was more than 100% on apple however next one and a half year till date apple stock has only given us the return of 20% and that too in 18 months so in 18 months it gives us a return of 20% however the one year prior it gives us a return of more than 100% and all of this can be actually interpreted or rather explained with the help of just one indicator which is accumulation distribution as an investor and this is the key takeaway from this back testing you only want to stay invested in the stock where not only the price is going higher but also the accumulation distribution indicator line if both are going upwards this is the only time when you should be in that particular stock this is a visual indicator it's not very easy to interpret so use these arrows like i did it will become very easier for you to interpret this particular indicator and what exactly it is doing ignore the noise in between look at the general trend right i'm not looking at all these highs and lows in between right i am only interested in what has been happening for a longer period of time at least 6 months to 1 year right that should be my bare minimal criteria if i am holding a stock and the accumulation distribution line starts stagnating that is the stock is going upwards still but the accumulation distribution has gone horizontal this is the time when i should look to book my profits why because now the indicator has started showing divergence from the price of the asset and that's first type of divergence that is the stock is going upwards but the 
accumulation distribution has gone absolutely nowhere and is flat now right now there are three more types of divergences that we're going to learn and those divergences are pretty much universal in nature it you can look at any kind of indicators and there are always four types of divergence that one looks for right so this is about divergence in general now the second type of divergence is when the stock is flat but the accumulation distribution line starts going downwards this is the worst scenario in any particular stock if the stock is going nowhere it means the smart money is selling the stock when the accumulation distribution line at the same time is on a downward journey so let's take an example of that kind of divergence which is the second type of divergence and the stock that we are going to look at is MCX as you can see for a decent period of time the stock has gone absolutely nowhere and it was pretty much showing a sideways move however if you look at the indicators move in this period of time you can see that the stock has been constantly sold by smart money and every time the stock was going downwards on a daily session the volumes on downward movement were extremely high and this is exactly what happened afterwards at some stage mcx broke down its support even if it shot up temporarily the divergence on this indicator was very clear the indicator was still showing that this stock will go down at some stage and this is exactly what happened and now we are seeing that mcx has broken some of its major supports this is the universal law about divergence right whenever you see any kind of divergence and we are going to cover all four we have only covered two the price of the asset at some stage in future after observing the divergence will always go in the direction of its indicator and you can use say MACD RSI and even accumulation distribution as an indicator for looking at the divergences at some stage the convergence will always happen and it's always the price of the asset that will go in the direction of where the indicator was going right so if the indicator was going downwards but the price was going upwards at some stage the price will go downwards to go in the direction of where the indicator was going right and the opposite is also true that brings me to the third type of divergence where the stock goes downwards but the accumulation distribution line actually goes upwards this divergence is the most important divergence because it will help you pick up stocks that have been beaten down by the markets but under the surface the smart money is accumulating that particular stock why because every time the stock price is going up the volumes are shooting up and that's the time where the people with big pockets are accumulating this particular stock and there are many examples especially in the current scenario however the one company that i am liking a lot is the us based electric vehicle maker rivian amazon as a company has stake in this particular stock and a lot of other big names have invested in this particular stock we don't really have much of a data however whatever we have is simply good enough to show you the divergence in this particular asset this is what has happened in last few months with this stock however look at the accumulation distribution indicator a clear divergence that is visible somewhere smart money is investing in this particular stock it has gone down but the accumulation distribution not so much and it has started going flat for a moment however accumulation distribution is on a slightly upward journey let me just show you some other examples as well where some of the high flyers name were on a wildly up move however the accumulation distribution was showing a different story now stoneco this is a brazilian fintech company warren buffett has stake in this company if i'm not mistaken and as you can see and we are still looking at the daily chart the 
stock was on an upward journey. However, if we look at the accumulation distribution for the same stage, it was pretty much stagnant. So at some stage, the divergence had to play a role and the role was so severe that this stock has been beaten down from the levels of above $90 and right now the stock is trading at $11.24. Right, so this is the power of divergence. One last stock is the Virgin Galactic Company, which is owned by Richard Branson of Virgin. And what we are seeing over here in terms of accumulation distribution is the stock made its all time high, but accumulation distribution, not so much. So I hope it's very clear to you how this particular indicator works. Let me just come back to India and show you what's going on with the biggest company of India that is Reliance. Even though the stock has been on an upward journey, we're seeing that the smart money has been actually exiting from this particular stock. This stock definitely is one of the safest investments in my opinion. However, if I were to buy this stock, this is really not the time when I would consider entering into this particular company. Why? Because the accumulation distribution is telling me a different story. And this is the reason why this is a very, very important indicator for investors. Let me zoom in in monthly chart and I want to show you something else. And this is my example of fourth type of divergence where the stock goes absolutely nowhere, but the accumulation distribution tells us a different story, right? You can switch between daily and monthly depending upon how long a time frame of your investment horizon that you take, right? So if you want to say keep a particular holding for a few years, then look at the monthly charts only. But if you are only going to trade for let's say one year max, then look at weekly or even daily, right? At this level over here, as you can see, the stock was at say 100, 100 levels. So until this point, let me just shorten it down. Until this point, the stock pretty much was at 100 levels or so, right? And we're talking about the years from 2000s to 2006, 7 when this stock was really consolidating. However, if we look at the divergence from here, it's quite clear that the smart money was buying the stock at that particular time. And this is not a small divergence, by the way. If we actually look at the numbers, the number was 1.26 billion. And by the time the stock gave a breakout, the accumulation distribution had actually gone to the level of 3.2 to 5 billions, right? So almost a threefold increase in volumes when the stock was going upwards, right? The asset pretty much stayed sideways, but the accumulation distribution had increased threefold and that's why this kind of divergence is also very important for us to notice. It's rare but not that uncommon that you will not be able to find it in next three to six months. You will definitely find a stock where it's going nowhere but the accumulation distribution under the surface is going upwards. So these are the four kinds of divergences that I want to share with you and while sharing those divergences I will also share heaps of examples with you. And I'm hoping that this indicator will help you find gems in the current market mayhem where everything seems to be on sale. But trust me, not everything is on sale. Whatever is on sale, you will be able to spot that with the help of this particular indicator. Look at the charts, try to interpret the divergences and try to anticipate the kind of moves that the asset is going to give you. However, if you are in a doubt, then make sure that you are putting in your questions underneath this particular video and I'll be more than happy to answer. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon.